welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. We are about to get started with the show. The first thing I want to say is if you would like to call in, the call in number is 84 845-277-9131. And um, today is probably going to be a little bit shorter of a show. So I think they're, um, they're right. I think, I don't know if something's going on with blog talk, but there's no one in the call log right now. And that could just be, um, something with blog talk every once in a while that happens, or just maybe the world ran out of questions. Not sure. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start the show the way I typically do. Uh, please know I'll never reach out to you on any social media platform that I am on. Today's clearing on TikTok is misunderstandings. And um, and I already did a uh, clearing for everybody in the chat for um, luck. There we go, luck. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, start by doing the names from people up above. It could be your name. It could be their name. It could be um, uh, somebody you know. Their any any the names. I'm just going to do the names. The first name I'm I'm getting is Jake J A K E Jake. And then um, he's actually, Jake is bringing through a song and it's, tell her I love her, tell her I miss my baby, ooh, won't you tell her? Okay, <laughs> that was pretty dramatic, Jake. Thank you for all that. Um, the next name I'm hearing is, um, it's actually, I think this is a movie. It's. I think it's a movie, but I also think it's a, a pl like a place, like a location. Monte Cristo, Crisco, Crisco is like the oil. Monte, boy, gosh, you know, sometimes I think when I'm doing my show, they must think I have absolutely zero education. <laughs> Monte Cristo. I don't think it's Monte Crisco. <laughs> I don't. That just seems like that. That can't be. No, not Monte Carlo. Monte Chris, whatever. Whoever it's for, they're gonna know it's for them. That's. I'm just gonna leave that there. And whoever knows that knows that. And the next uh, name I'm getting is um, Jennifer. And then the next name that I'm getting is Oliver. And then the next name I'm getting is Lila. Lila. And then the next name I'm getting is, oh, that's, that's a pretty, it's Mark. Hey, Mark, what's up? Um, and then the next name I'm getting is Joe. And then the next name I'm getting, there's a lot, oh, jeez. Geez Louise, there's like a whole line of people. Maybe that's why there's no calls because all these people are going to come through today for you guys. Um, the next name that I'm getting is um, Gia Bella. Gia Bella. Gia Bella. That's the next name I'm getting. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know if that's two separate words or one word. And then the next name I'm getting. Is, um, is a little, again, um, I keep wanting to say merengue, merengue. I, okay, I'm just going to say merengue because it's coming out and normally I just really would not be able to say that word. I seriously would not. 
and there's that. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to do are the songs. This could be a song they loved, you loved, you listened to together. It can also be a song that answers your a, a question that you're having at this time. So the first song I'm hearing, and I've been hearing it all morning, is Free Falling by, I believe it's Tom Petty. And I'm free, free falling, free falling, and I'm free falling, and I'm, yeah, that song. Okay. And you probably don't understand it with all of my wonderful musical ability. <laughs> that pure sarcasm. Okay, and then the next song that I'm getting is, um, and I get this song every once in a while. Okay, you guys, and it's... Um, that song, to the window, to the walls, till the sweat dropped down your balls, um, that one. And um, the next song I'm hearing is, um, again, I'm hearing Aretha, anything by Aretha Franklin. Anything by Aretha Franklin. And then I'm hearing Tom Jones, just anything by Tom Jones. And um, and then Elvis, he has not left the building is what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, they're funny. They are so funny. Okay, okay. Um, I think that's everything for songs and people right now. And I'm going to do the channeling now. So I'm going to start with a little bit of channeling. And if you would like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131, or you can join us in the live uh, YouTube chat. Okay, here we go. This is a time on this plane when division cannot be we must come together and have oneness, unity. And that does not mean what you might think it means. That does not mean you have to speak or talk to people that you may be uncomfortable with. This means that you must have a single vision moving forward. And this vision must be for you to be in a space of peace and love and light. The more that you personally are in a space of peace and love and light, the more the world, the universe, will become that peace and love and light. For everything that happens within you is what you see outside of you. So the more of you that become peace, love, light, the more it will spread throughout this plane disharmony or a lack of harmony within you is what brings a lack of harmony outside of you for you are not a crazy person so what you feel or think in your mind is what must appear in front of you as you get back to center within yourself as you get back to center within your soul as you get back to center within your mind as you get back to that space of, I am the universe, it is just playing out in front of me. In that moment, all things that are around you will then be at peace and in harmony rather than disharmony. And you may say to us, but there are complications, but I have this problem and that problem and this bill and this boss and that coworker. And we will say you are correct. But as long as you see them as adversarial, they will remain adversarial. And if you really look at it, if you really take the moment and you look at it, you will realize that no matter where you go, there is an adversary. And that is not the person outside of you. That is a conflict within you that needs to be healed. That is a conflict within you that has been there for some time and it is 
presenting in these people to point it out in you so that you can heal this, so that you can address the root of it, so then you no longer have this. Everything that plays out of you, out, out in front of you, is like a big projection screen of what is going on inside of you. Any peace and love, that is within you. Any turmoil or strife, that is within you. So it is now time to become one, to become whole within yourself, within your being, with who you are. And that begins with you accepting you as you are, with you loving you wholly and completely as you are, with you saying that everything is a lesson that I have learned and now I want to move forward and have new experiences that are delicious and beautiful and to jump into my future. I want to be so in my present and looking forward to the future that it comes to me so quickly and so beautifully. And it's all good because I am all good with who I am and how I am. For I know I was created perfectly for who I am supposed to be, not for who others expect me to be. I was put here in this way at this time to be who I am, ever evolving, ever moving forward, ever enchanting to those who choose to see it. As we move forward, we become more one with ourselves, or we become more separated from ourselves, more division internally. It is time for us to be one, to be whole, to be complete, and to understand we are already everything we are supposed to be. Yes, just like a vanilla ice cream, it is good. You can add on hot chocolate, uh, sprinkles, cherries, whipped cream, and to make it better. And in this case, you you are already complete and the, the cherry is the evolving, the becoming more of who you choose to be in the direction you want to go with the life that you choose to exist in. And it is right there. It is all in front of you. It is all right in you. If you have seen it here and know it here, if you have felt it, if you have tasted it, that means it is for you. You will never have a vision that is good, that is not for you. Every vision, every dream, every fantasy was brought to you, for you, to remind you where you're going in this world. And so it is. Okay. I really like that. I think I need to re-listen to it. Oh my goodness. That was, that was good. That was loving it. Loving it. Okay. You guys, um, I want to do um, a few clearings. I wish I could remember everything they said because as they were saying it, I was like, remember, you need to clear. Okay, inner conflict, let's clear that. We are whole. We think, no, feel, believe we are whole. <laughs> we are whole. <laughs> Let's clear that. Is anybody else reacting like this? Or is this that just, is that just me? <laughs> oh, let me know if you're feeling this. Let me know what you're feeling, what you're 
getting off of all this juicy goodness. Okay, here we go, everybody. I am going to start taking callers because there are callers. Thank you for calling in. I don't know why um, there were none in the beginning, but it's okay because you guys are here now. I'm going to be answering questions in the chat. And yes, they do hang out and answer the questions for you guys also, but they don't always come in and do that um you know where where they're completely taking like the voice box over as they are saying right now um hello to everybody in the chat i love you guys so so much um we have heather fawn patrick isabella uh, margaret uh svetlana kate um jay francis uh, Genevieve, um, Rebecca, and Sal. Hey, Sal. Mm, 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 mm. I think that's everything. And Steve is here today, too. Hey, Steve. Um, and Nat23, I think that's her name. Hey, how are you? Maris is here. Um, good morning and thank everybody. I thank you all for being here with me, everybody on the phone, everybody in the chat. Um, again, I'm doing good. Thank you, everybody. Hey, um, if you would like to call in and ask a question, 845-277-9131 is uh, the call-in number. Okay. And I'm going to go to the first caller, 702. 702, what's your name and where are you okay. calling from? Hello. Hey there, how are you? Okay, this is Juana. Juana, how can I help you? How Juana? are you today? I want to ask her um, something about my granddaughter. Okay. She got a baby. She got a baby. It's like a three, four months right now. Okay. But I don't know what's going to happen. She going to back home because it's not good. Uh, whatever it is, uh, where she is. Okay. I'm sorry. Can you please say that again? I'm so sorry. Is uh, my granddaughter? Yes, your granddaughter. The, 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 name is, the name is June, June Hernandez. Okay, and what would you like to know, love? She got, she got a baby in March, and she go to live with a boyfriend, but it's not, not good. And I don't know that she go back home to with the family. You know, will she stay over there or what is, what is going to happen? Okay, so I'm actually he hearing um, she is she, uh, now timelines can be a little bit off. I'm hearing that she did not go back home. I'm hearing she is still here, whatever that means here. I feel like she is there is a bit of turmoil Um I hear that this is a very, um, they're using the word tragic, but I'm going to say a very sad situation. This is not a healthy situation. Yes. I'm going to do a clearing uh -huh. for her and anybody listening that needs this right now. Uh, we're going to clear all turmoil. All, uh, I'm just hearing it's a lot of craziness. So we're going to clear that. And we're going to clear um, uh -huh. for her to be safe and protected. She is safe. Let's clear that for her and the baby to be safe and protected. I feel like the person that she's with isn't always stable. There's not stability there. No, stable, let me say stable can mean financially or any other way. There's just not stability there. And so we're going to clear for stability. Now, I can do these clearings. It's up to a person. Sometimes people feel they need these things to move forward in life. But I do really hope that these things whew, truly do clear for them. And if they do stay together, 
I don't feel like they're going to stay together much longer. I feel like it might be a month to a month and a half that they'll be together. And then it's going to be um, the moving, moving on. And I do feel like it's going to be uh, difficult for her to move on. Uh, just keep praying for her every night and we will add her to our prayers and we will see what happens next for her. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, I want to know. Thank you. You are so welcome. I'm I'm happy this was helpful and hopefully everything will work out for her, okay? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. You are so very welcome. Um I'm going to go to the chat and I'm going to answer a question. Uh I'm going to find a question. Can you talk about the sound of freedom? You know what? I wish I could. I ended up, um, I wasn't able to go see it this weekend. Um, so, but from what I have been hearing about it, if if you know, okay, so everybody, The Sound of Freedom is a movie in the theaters right now. And I've been hearing some crazy, crazy stories. So one of the stories that I heard about The Sound of Freedom is a woman in a video said that they pre-purchased their tickets to go see this particular movie. And the theater refunded them their tickets, just sent them a refund. And then they called and said, well, what's going on? And they said, oh, the theater doesn't have any air conditioning. So we refunded everybody's tickets for that movie. If you know, you know. So they just said, well, can we come? Will it be playing? Can we come anyway? And they said, sure. Yeah. So they went and their group was the only group in there because they had refunded everybody else. So please, um, the tricks are up, the, the tricks are being played. If you can handle this movie, go see this movie. It's everything that they're distracting us with, all the nonsense and the craziness, part of why they're distracting us has a lot to do with what, what this movie talks about. But please make sure that you read the synopsis, make sure... 100% sure you watch the trailer and make sure you can handle this type of content. The only thing I will say on this show is it has to do with children and it has to do with abuse. And that sometimes not everybody can handle that, but I guess it was done in a very it was done from the aspect of just really wanting to get out what's really going on out there um, and what they're doing. Now, if you know about that, you should know about all the hotels that are being sued right now because they're also a part of it. And they're literally finding tunnels from um, closets down into, yeah, so if you know, you know, and I'm going to let that be there because this is a very sensitive subject and not everybody can handle it. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. And um, Jay Francis, I hope that helps you. It will probably be on uh, this movie. This particular movie will probably it the first day it did over 10 million and it's been selling out and it spent three years in court to try to get it out. Um, it will probably be available soon for streaming and or on the internet. So if it's not in your area or you can't get in to see it, please pay attention and um, make sure that you are, when it does come to those venues, you watch. But everybody who has gone to see it says, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, very well done. Very well done. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 510. 510, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Aaron, San Francisco. 
And how can I help you today? I would like to have a, a general reading. Mm. Um, okay, Aaron, I probably should have said this when I was getting ready to start the show. I don't mm -hmm. do full readings here, but you can book one. Um, I just basically answer one question or help you connect to one loved one on the other side, just for the sake of the show and everybody else waiting. So if, can you please just bring that down to one question for me, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who's around me right now? What's the message? Okay, I'm just going to give you the message, Erin. Um, the message that I'm getting for you right now, and I they cannot be more exact, and they're very to the point. And they're saying, I don't want to say this. It's not meant in a bad way. It's not at all. But the way it comes out sometimes sounds a little bit more than it is but they're saying figure it out there's something going on in your life and you need to figure it out now some readings Aaron are a little bit predictive so if this isn't something that's going on right now it could be something that is coming up coming up in the near future within a month that you're going to have to figure it out. Now, this isn't something somebody else can tell you what to do. It's very like back and forth in your head, back and forth in your head, back and forth in your head, back and forth in your head. Like there's no right or wrong with this. It's just a matter of only you can figure out what you want to do because it's your life and your path. So I'm going to give you an example. I'll actually give you two examples, but I'm going, they're examples. It's not the actual thing. For example, if you have a job and you're offered another job and both jobs are really good and you're trying to figure out which one to take, nobody's going to be able to tell you which job you should take. That's a personal thing that you're going to have to feel which job feels best for you. But what I will say, Erin, is don't be afraid. Don't, don't, if you're like, oh, but what if I go to this and it doesn't work out? Never be afraid because there's always something else after that, even if it doesn't work out. And then the next thing I'm going to say is, let's say it's like a relationship thing and you're trying to decide between two different people. And both of them are equally good, but have different qualities. Only you can decide. And those are just examples. Those are not whatever. Or if you should stay or go in a situation, only you can figure it out. But their main statement to you is figure it out. Sit down and with yourself in your mind and figure out the path that you want to take with whatever this situation is. Now, again, if you don't know what this is right now, that may be because it's coming in very soon. And again, I hear within the month, if you don't know what this is right now, you are going to know within the month, you are going to know exactly what the situation is. And within the month, you should know what direction you want to take with this situation. The other thing that I will tell you, Erin, is you. Um, it's time for you to... I'm hearing that song and it's a like a boat and not bohemian, but um, get up, stand up, don't, don't stand up for your rights. So whatever that song means to you, I'm so sorry. Um, whatever that song means to you for your situation, kind of like stand like basically when that song comes through, I believe that song means just stand up for yourself. Um, get get up and get going and, and and like excuse the expression here but i i i hope this isn't offense, offensive put on your big boy pants and get out there and stand up for yourself and do what you need to do right now but don't but don't be, um i'm also hearing don't back down so whether these are two different situations or one situation they're just saying it's time for you to like like really um 
get it, get into it. And they're going to just keep repeating themselves now. So I'm going to let that be your message because now they're going back into the figure it out and get out there and go for it, whatever it is. And that is something, and they're telling me, this is something, this is a choice only you can make. You can't let somebody else make this choice for you, okay? Because they don't know it's not their life because it's not their life. And you're the one who has to, I don't want to say live with the consequences, but live with the results of whatever this is. Okay, sweetie? Mm -hmm. I hope that is very helpful mm -hmm. for you. I hope it's very, very helpful for you. I want to thank you so much for calling in. Um, and please uh, call back again in the future. I'll be happy to um, answer any questions you have. Okay, I did not say this at the beginning of the show, and I am going to say it now. Um, if you are calling in or you are on um, the chat, and you can join us every Monday and Wednesday at noon um, in the chat on YouTube, on YouTube and watch live or in the Call in number, which is 845-277-9131, and you can ask one question or connect with a loved one on the other side. And if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, um, I just need a first name and a relationship to you. And that way I can just get like kind of zoom right in there and get the information. Um it's kind of like if you're on the expressway or the freeway and you have the easy pass and you just get to keep going or you have to wait, stop and like wait for everybody else and like pay the toll. Well, kind of trying to just get through it all. That's the, the comparison that I'm going to make for this. Um, if you would like a full reading, like you want to know what's coming in, what's going to happen, a general reading please go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, and I will be happy to um, schedule that session for you, and we can go over many different details or more of a general situation. Okay. Um, Genevieve says she wants the freedom to expand to all that I am and the highest desire of my soul and purpose. I'm going to use that statement right there. I'm not even going to repeat that. Let's clear a path for that for each and every one of us <clears throat> listening and or watching. And I love that. Um, I love that, Genevieve. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, I am going to go to the next caller. And if you did call in, hey, everybody, if you did call in um, and you would like to ask a question or connect with a loved one, please make sure you hit that one button, the one on your phone. Uh, so it raises your hand so that I know that you do have a question for me. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, hi. My name is Patricia, calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely, Patricia. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I'm going to decide and attempt to speak to an ancestor. Um, but I want to... I want to speak to an uh, ancestor, one of my Puerto Rican ancestors. My father was Puerto Rican, but I uh, he was never in uh, my life. Rejected me and my mother, um, but anyone in that family, okay. uh, if they have anything to say to me or him. What's an abuela? Ab 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 I don't even speak English. Please don't expect me to speak another language. Um, I think it means grandmother because I am seeing a woman. If I don't know how to say that in that language, but um, here we go. I don't speak Spanish. Either. Yeah, sorry, I can't. Uh, uh, I'm sure someone's going to come through on the 
chat and tell me it's either grandmother or grandfather, but I want to say grandmother. And what I'm going to say is um, he didn't have a choice. Not that I'm forgiving him. I'm just giving the message. Please don't. Please don't um, be upset with what I'm about to say. Please understand it from a broader perspective. And I want to say this. It's my understanding based on all the channeling that I have done for thousands and thousands of people um, that prior to us coming in, millennials, millennials ago, this was all planned out for us. We, we're we not here hairy carry, just having happenstance and things happen to us, okay? This is, this life um, from beginning to end was pretty much destined, if you will. And there are some things we have free will on, but we will learn the same lessons or experiences that we are supposed to learn regardless of. Okay, so one of the purposes of what happened with your father was he was, no matter who your father would have been, your biological, he was not supposed to be in the picture so that you would, it was supposed to help you learn self-love. But also if this particular person had been in your life, your life would have been changed significantly. You would be a completely different person and not all of it, well, most of it, not for the better. Um, sometimes grace comes in and says, you know what, you're supposed to become this person that shines like this. And if this person comes into your life and is there, you will only shine to this level. And we need you to shine to this level. We need you to be this person. And this person's character or ethics will rub off on you. And we cannot have that. So you're going to think this person rejected you, but actually we protected you. We have put you in a bubble away from this person so that you can shine and be the glorious, beautiful being that you are. And you were supposed to also encompass pure, true self-love. Like it doesn't matter who wants to be in my life because I've got all that is above and all that is here. It's not who isn't here. It is who is here with me that matters. And one person does not divine, define, 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 define my worth, self, or existence. Now, if that message had not come through until now, they are gracious and grateful to give it to you. And the message that they are giving you is he played the role he was supposed to play. As difficult as that may be to hear, that is who he was supposed to do. He was supposed to drop off a load inside of your mother and then take his exit stage right so that you could be the person you are supposed to be. You were not supposed to be uh, influenced by this person's persona, okay? Now, having said all of that, they do want you to know that his ancestors did watch over you and help to cur curate, curate, sorry, um, help to create who you are and guide you in this life also. Okay, whew. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, sometimes you guys, when I am channeling and it's that, and I come out, I'm like, oh my God, that was so beautiful and good. I hope you feel like that was a good message because if when you re-listen to this, I, if you re-listen to this, if you, if you, I just hope that was what you needed, my love. I hope that helped you a great deal. Uh, well, uh, I mean, well, yes, I mean, thanks for the message. Um, all right. So that was from a grandmother, probably his mother. Y yes, I'm guessing so. Yes. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. Because I tried reaching out to him many years ago and uh, it was by phone and was going to, you know, ask, you know, basically, why weren't you in my life? And when he said he forgot he had a daughter, of course, at that time, those 30 some odd years ago, you know, it crushed me. But of course, as I've gotten older, I'm 
thankful that he wasn't. Um, well, I'm I'm still just going to do my uh, ancestry chart and just just for, to know for myself what's what and uh, and you know obviously I've moved on. So here's what I want to say. Okay. Um, and uh, okay, thank you so yeah. much for calling in. But I'm I'm just going to speak to this a little bit longer, just for five seconds. Um, and five one nine, you're going to be next, so please don't go anyplace. Here's what I want to say. Um, like you, beautiful, just like you, I my father was not really present in my life, and really was not. Uh, from what I hear, excited when I was born, and especially since I was a female, supposedly. Now, what I'm going to say is, looking back, just like you, I can see the blessing in the person that I am and have become by his absence. And one night when I was deep in thought and meditation and prayer and um, and for whomever else this is for, because I know we have a lot of people out there with uh, daddies that are running around being whatever they're being. Okay. They're, they're absent from our lives for whatever reason. Okay. Um, one night when I was um, in deep, deep, deep in thought, and I was like, why did I get, and we do ask that because we feel like we were, something was taken from us. We were kind of ripped off or whatever, however we want to say it. Um, why, why did I get this father um, that, was this way and had this nickname for me. By the way, his nickname was not flattering. It was the B word. I was the B. Um, and what I heard was, he's not your father. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Who'd she cheat with? And that, that is not what they meant. That is not at all what they meant. <laughs> what, what God or universe or spirit, whatever you choose to call it, said is, I, I am and always has been, have been your father. You are my child. And I did everything I could to put you in the best care. And with that, I knew in that instant, I could feel that so deeply so deeply. And from that moment on, I knew I had the absolute best father that I could have ever had. And there would have never been another father that could have ever compared. And that he had my father, your father, our father, had watched me through my whole life and protected me. So I know that that doesn't always help people, um, but that is a fact. That is a true fact. That is such a true fact. So I hope that is very, very helpful for you um, in moving forward. And I will tell you, some of my siblings spent time with BioDad and... I really wish they hadn't because there was so much that was changed in them because of him. So I'm just going to leave that there. Ibuala, that's what they were saying. So one of my, um, Mariah said, Ibuala, I'm probably saying that wrong, is for grandma. And that is what she was trying to say. Um, and I'm sorry. I cannot say it appropriately. Please forgive me for butchering. I butcher English. So that right there, Ibuala, Ibuala. Yeah, that is it, Abuala. Whatever that word is, that's the word they were trying to use. 
Okie dokie. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm gonna um I'm gonna go to 519, but Nat 23, I'm gonna answer your question next. So please don't go anyplace. Um let me know. Oh yay, okay. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, it's Jennifer from Canada. Jennifer, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, I was calling because you did say my name and my brother's name and another name in my family um, when you were calling out the names. And I felt like it was my grandpa, Lou, who wanted to come through. Okay, Jennifer, now just for the sake of the show, have you ever told me these names of these people at, at any time in the past? Well, my own name, yeah. Well, yeah, your name. But the other, yeah. <laughs> but the other, but the other people know. The people from the, the, those people never, right? So just so people don't go, oh, well, she always calls in. That's probably where she's getting the names from. No, 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 no. Okay, so um, Grandpa Lou is, um, yeah, he's here, and instantly. Oh, he has a very solid, like a little bit more serious. And even maybe I want to use the word or the word that I'm hearing is somber. Um, this energy that just came in and like, um, as soon as I said his name and the, the feeling that I'm getting from this is a very, um, always very serious and um, sometimes a little even strict, like very strict, maybe in his behaviors or with people or just his regi reg regiment. Um, and just having that, like no nonsense is what I'm hearing for your grandpa. Would that be appropriate? No. Okay. Who would that be? Because that person stepped in strong. I, I'm reaching around and I'm trying to, yeah, I am trying to place it, but you know, I, I don't, like, maybe my other grandfather, but not exactly. Okay, so it, I might be, I'm hearing these words and these words, this, I mean, even my whole, and you know what, but sometimes what happens on the show, and I will say this, sometimes what happens on the show is if somebody else is really wanting a message, that person will jump in. So I'm going to ask whoever this is, if it's not for you to back off a little bit. And then I'm going to ask Grandpa Lou to give me something. And then... Um, Oh my gosh, stop it. Okay, so I'm hearing a song and I don't I don't even know if the song is for you. I don't I feel like it's not, but it's Holly Jolly Christmas. Um, which is crazy because uh, I said Grandpa Lou give me something and I heard it's a Holly Jolly Christmas. Um, so I don't I don't even know there are so many people in the room right now. And I'm going to say, again, that's why I say, give me a name. And in this case, it's not even helping, <laughs> Jennifer. Um, okay, so what's the message? I'm just going to, I'm just going to go above grandpa. I'm going to go above all the people and I'm going to ask, come in and just give me the message that needs to be good. Um, so the message that's coming through is a song. It's tell them I love them, tell them I miss my baby. And then. Ooh, won't you tell him? So tell him, tell him he he wants you to tell them, the family, stories about him, about his life. Tell them, like, and it's so funny if you're you're watching, like my hands are just doing this. Like, am I if for those only listening on the podcast, like my arm is uh wrist up and it's like um like one, two, three, four, tapping, one, two, three, four, like uh, with the other hand, like tell them, like tell all of them, go to them and tell them stories. Talk about, talk about us, talk about the old days, talk about what happened. There's a message in that that is going to help um, some, some of them for the future. Um, about the simplicity, about the... Um, 
about the simplicity. Yeah, about the simplicity, because the next thing I hear is that it's so complex now. It's so complex. And it's okay for it to be a little uh, more simple and to tell them stories, tell them about him, but tell them about them. Like, let them know um, a little bit about uh, how, how it, if I'm saying it correctly, how it was or how it used to be. Uh, Jennifer, I hope that's helpful because that's, that's what he's really saying is he wants that to be known. He wants that to be, for some reason, it's going to be very helpful for someone who is, um, who who needs there's something in us in the the stories about them that is going to help somebody uh that he the people that he mentions okay i'm just gonna leave that there and i'm going to let you okay. decipher that with your loved ones okay jennifer <laughs> oh, okay and he also he always talked with his hands because he was italian ah got it Thank you so much for, for yes. confirming that and clarifying it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Uh, 510, you are going to be next. I'm going to go to Nat23. Will I have a romantic, stable relationship soon? Okay, Nat, right now... Okay, here's what I'm going to say for you and everybody. Relationships, friendships, relationships, romantic, family, whatever they are, are a little bit challenging right now. There's a lot going on. And I want you to... Um... Okay, thank you. What I'm getting for you is... Um... You will, not as soon as you would like... The person coming in is going to come in as a friend first and then develop into a romantic situation or romantic relationship. One of the things that they're saying to me, and please know I I try not to judge people, but I'm, I'm not making a judgment statement when I say this, Nat. Make sure this person is single, single before you do anything with them. I mean, single, single. Not they broke up, break up to make up situation, or they're saying they're single, but they're really not, or they think they're in a casual friends with benefits and the other person doesn't. Whatever it is, Nat, just, be friends with this person first so you can find out like the things like guy friends. Let me tell you something. Guy friends will tell women that are their friends a lot about their life. Do you get the good details? I mean, the juicy, juicy. So what they're asking you to do is make sure that this person is completely single before you take any steps forward with them and just be their friend first. Listen, learn who they are as a friend without the chance of romance, sort of, and then let it move into that romantic side. But make sure, really make sure that they are single, not seriously dog dipping, seriously, anyone. Um, Okay, that I'm, I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, um, I am going to answer. Um, I'm, I'm going to go to 510, and then I'm going to answer Isabella's question. So 510, what's your name, and where are you calling from? Tamika. Okay. My name's Tamika, and I'm from California. How can I help you, love? Love? Okay, I want to know, when do you see me really tapping into my mediumship? Because I know I have the ability. But when do you really see me tapping into it so I know who's tugging on me, who's pulling on me, who's pushing me? Okay, T Tamika, correct? Tamika? 
what i'm yeah. getting is um this is a this is this is generational first of all it's really important to say this is generational there was a grandma who uh, there okay. was a woman in your ancestry who was a little bit fuller mm -hmm. and i see her in a bright pink dress with uh short sleeves okay. and i think it buttoned down the front but it's a nice dress but she wasn't big she was just a full woman and she yeah. had this gift along with um i want to say siblings and it goes back behind her now because you okay what i'm gonna tell you right now is what the more comfortable you get with it and the more you can just sit with it the better or the stronger it's going to get and you have to when you're using the gift uh, and please don't take this the wrong way i'm i'm probably using words that are not the best words for you but when you're okay. using the gift when you're when you're communicating they want you to uh -huh. soften a little bit meaning maybe just sit in a space that you feel is safe and 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 put your guard down for your ancestors to come through and communicate and once you're comfortable doing that and okay. having full-on conversations with them it's going to get better now i understand having our guard up it's a it's a wild world out there it's a really wild world out there yeah because it's like you don't know yeah because the thing is you really don't know who you're dealing with and that's why, you know what, when sometimes... So for me, yeah, for me, I'm guarded. Because I'm like, I don't know who this is, and I don't want to be hurt, because I know right. that the spirits on the other end can't hurt you over here. So what I want to say to you is before you communicate with them, just call in your angels. Just say, angels surround me. Only let that which is pure, true, and of God come through. And then ask them okay. to show you something that you've forgotten, okay? Just say, show me something okay. I've forgotten and let it come through and then let it be that, okay? Um, and then you'll know because okay. it you'll feel it too. You will feel it. And you'll understand okay. that that's the right person. But you just have to sit with it surrounded by your angels and then you'll start to be able to know the difference. And I'm going to tell you when I'm working with those who are on the other side in love and light, it feels so good. It feels energy ener energizing. It feels really good and that's also why you have to soften yourself because if you're hard and guarded you won't know the difference in how energies feel um, the energy is yeah because it all feels aggressive to me right now it's like a whole bunch of pushing tugging and pulling i'm like who, who is this so i'm gonna do a clearing for you and everybody okay. listening just to clear everything off that does not belong who and take i'm asking okay. the angels to take everything that does not belong okay love so they are coming in and they are taking that and that should help you too and just make sure you're you're always surrounding yourself with angels and um, go through your angels to get all messages in the beginning okay sweetie okay okay, okay. thank you you are so welcome, Tamika. And for anybody else, I just, the clock is running down. And um, Isabella, your your father, the message, I know this is so like tiny and short. I've got 60 seconds left, but the, the one thing he wants to say is he loves you and don't. 60 seconds. Um, it's, not a, it's not a warning. It's like, don't buy, it's so funny. Don't buy the cottage cheese. I don't even know what that means, Isabella. I hope you're laughing because I don't know if that was meant as a joke, but that's exactly what I'm seeing. I don't know why. Um, you guys, it's thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you so, so very much. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. I will be back Wednesday at noon to do this all over again.